You may have forgotten about Peter Strzok and Lisa Page, but conservatives haven't. Strzok was the head of FBI counterespionage. Page was a senior FBI lawyer. They had an affair and, amazingly, used their FBI-issue cell phones to flirt, gossip, and text a lot about how much they hated Donald Trump. The text messages humiliated the pair. Page resigned. Strzok was fired. Their affair remains a reliable source of conspiracy theory. He and his mistress, Lisa Page, called Donald Trump an effing idiot, loathsome, a bigot, an enormous D, blank, blank, blank. Peter Strzok was now forced to begin to answer for his prejudice. Fox News first reported that Strzok and Page also discussed targeting the vice president's office during the transition. Last week, the steamy, highly partisan romance that blossomed in those texts became the most dangerous play in Washington, D.C. The show was kicked out of one theater after the owners said they got credible death threats. So it was moved. Are you hoping to be entertained or enraged by this play? Like, what are you hoping for? Well, I'm hoping to, I think, really to be informed. Steve Weiss is an American who lives in Jakarta, Indonesia most of the time. He spent a lot of money to help make this show happen. So how much money did you give to the Indiegogo? I gave $3,500. $3,500? Yeah. Wow, so you really care about this. That's well, a lot of money. I, 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 you know, like when you start seeing people resisting it, it, it gives me confidence that they're going down the right way. Right. You know, it's the right path, right? So, you know, you have to get it out there, and so many people are just cowards. We weren't allowed to film the show, but we did film the actors as they rehearsed in Los Angeles. Jim gave me another big arm around the shoulder hug after meeting Lynch on Wednesday. He's proud of you. I think it's really cute. Dean Kane, former Superman and Fox and & Friends guest host, plays a pretty good Strzok. And Paige is played by Christy Swanson, the original Buffy the Vampire Slayer. What is this play about? It's a very intimate play, if you will. Two people who, are, who present one face, I guess, to the world, and uh, then you peel it back and you see another side of them with their personal text, like we all do, like everyone does, except these people happen to have been uh, two of the top officials in the FBI, and, and, and their bias um, shows very clearly, their personal bias shows very clearly, and it's hard to figure that that bias can't affect their job. Do you see doing this play as part of um, your political advocacy? Doing this play could be seen as political advocacy. It's, it's not, in a sense, that any more than, like, do you think Alec Baldwin's, you know, being politically a, a political advocate when he does Donald Trump? Yes. Yes, exactly. He is. But I'm not doing that. I'm not aping Peter Strzok. To some degree, I am, I guess. Donald Trump is an enormous dude. <laughs> I think the downfall of Rome was like this. <laughs> Mitch McConnell always reminds me of a turtle. Fellow McClear is an Irish writer who makes a lot of work about American controversies. Ferguson, abortion rights, stuff like that. He's like a right-wing Michael Moore. You're not an American, right? That's correct. I, I, I get frequently reminded of that, yes. Why do you give a shit about this? I know it's old-fashioned and it sounds terrible, but I've always really liked the truth, and I've always been attracted to telling the truth, whatever, uh, whatever the consequences. Lisa Page and Peter Strzok are not household names. If they, if they were plotting against Obama, they'd be household names. That's my opinion. So I want to make them household names, not, not to, to shame them, but so that people can make up their own minds about these texts. The only video we have of the show comes from cell phones in the audience. The MAGA crowd had a blast. Afterwards, Steve said he got his $3,500 worth. First impressions, what do you think? Well, it was a lot more entertaining than I expected. It was actually pretty funny. Yeah. Like, I laughed a lot yeah. in it. Actually. Yeah, I saw you enjoying yourself. It felt like I was in, like, a weird, underground, like, edgy thing, right? <laughs> yeah, like, oh, right. we can't be in here. No one well, should let, no, let us have this and do like, this. Where's the counterculture now, right? So when I went to college, you know, being, like, far left was really edgy, right? But now the edgy thing is following, you know, like, Ben Shapiro or Milo, right? That's the edgy thing these days. And that's the thing that's so ironic 